Hello, my name is Beth Dixon and this is a video series based on Vicki Borlaug's PowerPoint presentation on the normal distribution, finding x values given a probability. I wish to thank Mrs. Borlaug for allowing me to use her PowerPoint to make this set of videos. Let's begin with our example. The time it takes employees to wash a car at the Suds and Polish Car Wash has a mean of 21.6 minutes and a standard deviation of 2.7 minutes. Assume the time to wash a car is normally distributed. 20% of all car washes take longer than how many minutes? Let's work through this example. The first thing we want to do is to draw our standard, our normal curve. In the curve, in this case, we have a mean, and let's mark it, or let's mark our x value, and the x's are our time, and our mean time is 21.6. And let's mark this. as our mean. And we have a standard deviation of 2.7 minutes. The question asks us what? It asks us 20% of all car washes take longer than how many minutes? The greatest skill that you can bring to probability and statistics is your ability to read. Read the question carefully. What is this question asking? It's not asking us for a probability. It's asking us to find the x time in minutes that it takes. We need to then shade 20% and longer take longer than would be longer, longer would be greater, so that would mean we would be shading to the right. 20% is less than half shaded to the right would give us this area shaded here to the right. Since we now have the area shaded to the right, remember that our table where we will look up our information always shades to the left. So let's label the area to the left as well. To shade the area to the left, we will do the area to the left as 1 minus 0 0.20 equals 0 0.80. In other words, if 20% of the area is to the right, 80% of the areas to the left, and we've changed both of those numbers to decimals. We now can use the, these probabilities to look up the z value and find the z value and find the corresponding x value that goes with that. We will find the z value with 0 0.80 area to the left. There are two ways that you can do that to find the z value. The first way is to use your table. In your table, you will look for the value closest to 0 0.8000. The closest one will be 0 0.7995, and that will be the value 0 0.84. So your z value is 0 0.84. If your teacher allows, you could also use your TI-83 or TI-84 calculator and press second, then distribution, and choose inverse norm. Under inverse norm, press 0 0.80, the area to the left, and then enter. If you have a newer calculator, you will need to press and put 0 for your mean and 1 for your standard deviation. That then should give you, 
and let me do that to make sure I can get the correct decimal 0.8416 and then it continues and because we're dealing in z-scores we do round that to 0 0.84 and that's what I call legalized cheating to keep from having to look that number up in reverse in our table. But that gives us our Z value of 0 0.84. Once we have our Z value, we now want to find our X value. And we want to find the X value corresponding to the Z value of 0 0.84. Our formula is Z equals X minus mu over sigma, or Z equals X minus the mean over the standard deviation. We know the Z, it's 0.84. We do not know the X, so we'll leave it as X. The mean, or mu, is 21.6 and the standard deviation is 2.7. We will use cross multiplication to solve this. That means we will multiply 0 0.84 times 2.7 and x minus 21.6 times 1. 1 times x minus 21.6 gives us x minus 21.6 and 0 0.84 times 2.7 gives us 2.268. To finish solving for x, we will add 21.6 to both sides of the equation, and that gives us x equals 23.868. We will round this to 23.9, Please follow your teacher's rounding rules for, for rounding your final answer. And so our answer is 20% of all car washes, our answer is 20% of all car washes take longer than 23.9 minutes to wash a car at the Suds and Polish car wash. Here are some exercises for you to try. Here are the answers to those problems. If you're turning these in for a quiz, writing down the answers will not be enough to get you credit. Number seven, you're asked to create your own problem so the answers will vary. I rounded all of the answers to one more decimal place than the mean. Please follow your teacher's rounding guidelines when answering these problems. <coughs> Excuse me. As you try these, please remember that the above and below and words that mean greater than and less than. As always, if you are a Walter State student and need additional help, please stop by and see me in the math lab in room 222 in the Math and Behavioral Social Science building. Thank you.